Hey gang, it's Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. I'm in Florence, Italy for Pitti and I'm hanging out with Pisara of Fafam Stusita and we are having some champagne or actually, it's actually Prosecco, right? Yes. Cheers. Cheers. I'm going to basically just talk to Pisara about her perfumes. Yes. So if you want to find out about her fragrances, stick around. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, participating in giveaways, and still haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be yeah. notified for future videos and giveaways. Thank you so much for doing the video with me. Thank you, Sebastian. It's so fun. And please click like on our videos. Yes, please like. <laughs> So tell me, what got you into creating perfumes? What was the, the reason behind your brand? There are two main reasons. Actually, it's like a reason behind my life, in fact. So one reason is the love of my father. Uh, my father, he has been working all his life, but his poetry was unnoticed. So I really want people who read his poetry more, and what can it be better to create your own perfume and make people read more, learn more about his poetry. And this is really what I aim to do in my life, because as a daughter, I've seen him working so hard all his life. And when he passed away, I promised to myself that. And the other thing is, I love, I have a passion for raw materials. I love perfumery, I love perfume from the past, so I self-studied this, and yeah. Cool, that's a good reason to start a brand. Thank you. So when you were kind of, com when you co were coming up with the concept of your brand, what was it that you came up with the name? Did you have a name in mind before? or you were thinking of different names and you said, okay, that's what I'm going to use? Or did you all along have the name in your mind and you were going to use it and you knew you were going to make a brand and you were going to go with it? You know what? That is a great question because actually, you in you see in the niche perfume world, you can either have your name as the name of the brand mm -hmm. or your last name. But the last thing I want is I want I don't want people to call me call my my name as a brand name because I want people to to really experience this perfume without my image. So I, I think of this word Dusita from the beginning because Dusita is easy to pronounce and it means paradise and it means happiness. So it's the idea of what people should feel happy when they smell the perfume. So is yeah. that is Dusita in is it Thai? Yeah, it's a Thai paradise. I see. When you can have creativity and uh, hmm. Free, free of creation, freedom, everything. Nice. So you created the brand how long ago? Seven years ago. Seven years ago. So when was the first perfume cre you created? I created seven years ago. It would be the perfume called Isara, this one. Oh, my favorite. Or one of my yes. favorites. Uh, yeah, so I love that one. So happy to hear that. This perfume is mean freedom and, and it starts when I start to learn about raw material. So I have like 300 material in front of me with the, the table like this, you know, like a sofa and the table and then I create this one. Wow. So did you have in your mind the idea to create Isara? And, or did you have the name in mind first? No, not at all. It happened, okay, when I create the, the, the smell, I just happened to pick the thing that remind me of a freedom but then again I didn't know what it would turn out mm. but then again when I smell the final formulation that I create it said it's a freedom I see so did you know you were creating a fougere with tobacco or a honeyed fougere because I find it to be like honey or amber yes so it's a sweeter fougere with tobacco yes did you have that did, was that your goal or uh, you know, I, 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 my goal was that I want to create a perfume that doesn't smell like a perfume. Oh. That is like a, a part of your being, a part of your feeling, so more than that. I, at that time, I have to admit that I didn't know friends, so I didn't know the word fuja yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, I did this because of them. I selected clary sage. I remember I fell in love with this ingredient. Mm -hmm. So you have clary sage in Isara? Yes. Instead of 
it's a similar structure to chicky but instead of lavender and bergamot mm. we have clarices and pine oh wow so it has a cool aspect it does have a cool aspect plus a warm aspect exactly yeah warm and cold together yes <laughs> so um what i like about isara is that it reminds me of classic barbershop scents ah my dad used to wear wow so I it's would lovely. like to smell it when you say this. Okay. Lovely. I love it. Thank you so much. It's really lovely. This is one of my favorites. And probably the first one I reviewed for you, right? Yes. Okay. I so, remember yeah. that video was so great. Yeah. So this is the first fragrance you came out with. Yes. What was the in second? In my life. In your, in your life. So actually, uh, I was working on, on different formulations in Thailand as a student, as a self-taught self student, so you have to work on many things. And then the second I created was Melody de la Mou. Ooh, floral, in right? Paris, yeah. Now this one I don't know much about. Can we smell? Yes. Okay. This one. You can spray it on me. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> Two sprays. <laughs> Jasmine. Tuberose, gardenia. So all three of those flowers? Yes. Oh wow. Actually many, many more. Many more. It's like a bouquet of white flower. So but they are white. Is there bouquet? No, not yet. Not, no. not in here. Not in here? Not in here. So ilang ilang? Uh, yes. Yes. It's gorgeous. Thank you so much. Lately I've been into a lot of floral fragrances. Ah. My, my palette is opening up. Wonderful. Three, four, five years ago, I was like, no, no floral fragrances, but this is gorgeous. You start from which type of fragrance first, before floral? I, I love orientals and woody fragrances. Ah. Yeah. It's freshies, lemon, citrus. Ah. Yeah. But this is beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. And so this is your second fragrance? Yes. Wow. I, I named this Melody de la Mou after the poetry of my father about love. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> so number three, what was number three? Ah. Is it the big bad boy? Yes. Oh no. <laughs> it's the most. I, I think this is the perfume that brought the attention to the brand. Oh wow. This one? Yes. This big bad boy? Yes. The beast? Yes. Okay. The dangerous beast because I, if you ask me, I mean, I came from Thailand and and for me, wood or aga wood oil is something we produce in our region, Asia, Southeast Asia, in you know, uh, Thailand, uh, Laos, and India. India. So, yeah. Wood infinity. Wood infinity. Infinity of life. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to. <laughs> I don't need to smell this. I will this smell one. on me. <laughs> This is pretty, uh, this is a beast, guys. If you like oud in all its uh, dirty moments. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty intense. One of the most yeah. intense. It does have a cult following. There are people that love this one because they love this oud, this really dark, dark, um, I guess, blue cheese? Yes. Can che it, cheese and... Um, the power of roaster may and orange flower because like if we think about roaster may it's not a sweet rose it's a very powerful rose mm. with like a very dry and a little bit greenish greenish okay yeah it has me, energy it has energy yeah to me this is mostly oud there's mm -hmm. other players in the background yes but the oud just takes over do you like you do <laughs> let me smell again it's very sexy yeah I mean, the, we wait a little bit and then I will show you. Yeah, the dry down is going to be better. Yes. Okay. But this is a strange perfume because uh, today uh, someone came to my booth and he said, you know, uh, in Russia, in the forum, we still talk about this perfume. Wow. And, and it surprised me because uh, it was two years ago. Wow. So you launched with three fragrances, right? Yes. These three. Yes. This is how the brand start, got started. With the empty booth. Wow. With only me and my mother. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> when, Two of us. When was this? Three years ago. At uh, Essence Milan. Three years ago. Three years ago. It was an empty booth. 2016. Now, oh, 2016. 16. So only two years ago. And now it's like the most crowded booth. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> so 
when I first met you, you were launching two fragrances. La yes. Duster Siam and Le Siage Blanc. Yes, okay. I remember the day we met. Yes. It was in Essen. Yes. We were going to meet before though. Yes. And you were out of town in Paris. Oh, yes. Yeah, we were going to oh, meet yes, before Essen. Oh, yes, I remember. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. So let's let's talk about La Duster de Siam because it's another one that I don't know much about. Yes. So the name La Duster de Siam, it means the, the sweetness of life. Oh, wow. You know the, the movie La Loi Che Vita? Yeah. And I think... We're in Italy. I know exactly. this movie. It's one of my favorite movies. Yeah, that's the idea of this name. Mm. But but instead of in Italy, two hundred years ago in Thailand, mm. when uh, life is sweet and you sit by the river, and you you sit near the tropical garden and you feel the woman, beautiful princess, oh, wow. walk by and she wear the champaka. Uh, flower bouquet and rose and and then frangipani and the thing that is sweet and do wow soft soft yeah <laughs> did I wear yeah let's, I let's spray you? some here I so this is another floral yes what makes this different than Melody de l'amour this one is so uh, if we talk about the ingredient, it's a soft, sophisticated rose. Mm. Mel why Melody de la Mou is French? Um, I would say that Melody de la Mou is a jasmine, tuberose, and gardenia. Okay. And why this is like more pink color, like a rose, damascena. Mm. You blend it with a little bit of uh, spice, like cinnamon. Okay. It's like delicate. In it has more warmer touches. Yes, yes. This one's fresher floral. Exactly. Yeah. Melody de la Mou is like very French. It's like a French woman. Mm -hmm. And this is like a soft Thai. I don't know. No, no, it's Thai, but like, you know, refined. Refined. This one's really lovely too. I am into florals lately. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm very happy about this one. Yeah. Some people say it's a fruity floral. I wouldn't say that. Um, I don't. I, bordering I, fruity, but not quite. It's like a can be juicy, but not fruity. It's warmer. Yeah. 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 Champaka. Champaka. And uh, frangipani. Frangipani. I love frangipani. Yeah, happy to hear. Yeah. Me too. So the next one after that was Le Siage Blanc, which I have reviewed. Yes. Yes. This is lovely. Thank you. I love this because it's very green. Yeah. Leather? Yeah. Yeah, green and leathery. Yeah. Yeah. With the Gaubanam, Ilang Ilang, and the Neroli. Neroli. So, I don't have any spots left, but do we have any strips? Yes, we do. Okay. <laughs> I sit on it. <laughs> Here it is. Oh yeah, I really love galbanum. Thank you. It's a fresh galbanum. It's a fresh galbanum from Persia. Persia, yeah. So what what is galbanum? Do you know? I think galbanum is a it's a leaf. It's a leaf. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a species of the plant. Mm -hmm. I really like this. Thank I like you. it. So before we move on move on to the next fragrances which are the more masculine fragrances because we spoke about floral fragrances yes so Le Siage Blanc do you consider masculine for you or is it more feminine or is it in the middle I, I, I would consider this uh, between in the middle and the masculine okay I would say that Isara is more masculine Isara is definitely yeah. more masculine yeah. and they sit in the middle and then Wood Infini is totally cannot classify in any masculine or feminine okay because Wood Infini can be very sensual but melody of course melody and La Douce are in the part of feminine feminine yeah okay all right yeah this is good this is Le Siege Blanc it's, it's, it's my love for vintage perfume. Oh yeah, it's very vintagey. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love to twist the vintage mm -hmm. into a little bit more modern. If you like Chanel ni number no. 19 with that galbanum note, you might like this one. It is definitely leathery though, but the galbanum is very prominent. Yes. Yeah. So, this year you launched two. two <laughs> one of my favorites of your brand, Fleur de Lalita. Thank you. So the, where's that one? This one I have reviewed as well. Yeah. And we did some first impressions videos. This perfume. Beautiful. This Thank is my favorite you. of your 
Thank you. But of your brand now. So happy to hear. Yeah. So this one has galbanum too. Yes. It's very green. Yes. But, but it's a floral. Yes. I mean, the you know, for me, to create a floral perfume, if you think of nature, the flower flower has a green aspect. So it's not always like a soft. It has a green aspect, mm -hmm. especially like freshly cut flower. Okay. Like a magnolia in this one. Ooh, I love magnolia. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful flowers. Yes, I Very love it large, too. yeah. I don't think many perfume has a magnolia. No, it's not. It's not a very strong scent. No, not many. It has a very lemony touch too. Yes, but it has this kind of uh, mm. soft. This one's very sexy. Very, very sexy. <laughs> this is the sexiest. Thank you. I love this one. It's very energetic fragrance. I think it's it's young. It's young. Yeah. Does it? Does it? Does it? It reminds me. It brings back scent memories. So it reminds me of classic fragrances. Yes. Like which one? I don't know. When I smell it, I just remember a smell I used to smell. I don't know what it is though. But I love it. Do you want to hear the backstory of this fragrance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never Tell told us. anyone. Tell us. <laughs> so <clears throat> there, there was a launch about the. Uh, La Douce de Sian and Le Sian's long at Essen when we met first time, okay? Mm -hmm. So, I, I had my friend named Sergei Borisov. He's a, a journalist. And, for Grantica. Yes, mm -hmm. for Grantica, Russia. And then he, he said, Pisara, they don't believe that you are the perfumer. And I said, oh, Sergei, don't worry. Time will tell. I just keep doing my work. And I said, Sergei, that's, no, 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 no. I need to visit your home in Paris. I need to visit your laboratory in Paris because I want to make an article. I said, okay, you can come. So one week later, he went to Paris. And then he said, show me everything you make. Everything. So I show him one of the, this is Lalita. I call it Lalita at that time, Lalita. And he said, please, please, please. please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he suggests that. It's very fun because I have many type of perfume. I have like super spicy perfume. I have a woody, uh, amber, and different things that I haven't really. So yeah. it's like the bird of Lalita. I see. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's Thank my favorite. You. Thank you so much. Number two is Isara. Ah. Mm -hmm. So then you have another one that you launched with Flor de Lalita. Yes. Called Era One. Yes. And what's this one? Erawan is a name of the god elephant in Thailand and the name of the shrine, but it's also the name of the waterfall in Thailand in the national park. Mm. And it has the most gorgeous green color. There oh. it is. <laughs> Erawan is a, it's a unique fragrance unlike anything else. I mean... You call it a fougere. Yes. It's very woody and hay-like. Yes. Dry and dry slightly and chocolatey. Yeah, it has a dry and gumong, warm and dry. I don't know how to explain. It's very unique. But here, when you spray it, you can see the connection between Isara and Erawan. It's like a brother. Oh. This is a big brother. This is a little brother. Why? Because it's a conne connection between the Fuja of Clary Sage. Mm. You can feel the Clary Sage. And era one, I mix the pity grain in. Oh, wow. So the pity grain can turn to be like a tea. Oh, wow. When you mix it with vanilla absolute and tonka beans. Nice. Nice. I like this one. It's underrated, I think. I think so. Yeah. But it's, it's funny because um, I have a really great reaction of the Asian people oh. on this perfume. Interesting. Very interesting. I think that they, they can relate it to something like... Oh, wow. Uh, I don't know why. There is a certain element that is unique. It's very unique. Yeah, it's totally unique. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So what, what, what do you have in the works for the future? Can you tell us? Yes. Can you give us some sneak peeks? Yes. Okay. With you. Okay, cool. And for you guys too to find out what she's got cooking. 
Ah. You've got cook. You've got some stuff cooking, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> here, cooking here. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have been working on something new, but I, I haven't decided the name yet. Oh. So I would like to invite all of your subscribers to help me think about the name. The name of this new fragrance? Exactly. Okay. It's gonna be a fun competition. It's gonna be closed in the, the end of October because we're gonna print the labels. But... So we can all try and guess the name? Exactly. And I will, will send you the poetry. Okay. I have a poetry, I have a scent, but I don't have a name yet. Okay. Can we smell? Yes. Ooh, can't wait. Me too. <laughs> I'm curious to see. What are can you tell can you tell us anything about it before we smell? Yes. Besides the fact that you don't know the name? I can tell you. The It's powdery. Iris. Oh it's iris, yeah. It's a bit spicy. Slightly musky. Yes. You asked me about the mask. But it's not it's not dirty, it's clean. Yeah. It's clean. It's elegant. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. So does the name have to be in related to your other names or the can name can be related to the poetry which I can read to you. Okay. Uh, my father always carry a pen with him, so he, he has a poetry called The Pen. The Pen. The Pen is me, and I am the pen. During my journey, the pen get lost to know something I couldn't understand. That's the poet. That's the poet. Yes. And this one, I, I imagine I should iris because it's like an ink to to the you know inside the pen. It's like a fountain pen. He has. Oh wow! It's like his blood, you know. But I would highly recommend this perfume on the skin. Okay. Because on the skin, yeah, like this. <laughs> Ooh, makes it very beautiful and rounded and creamy. Yeah. It's not as powdery on you. No, but on the skin it's more dimensional. Okay. It's like, for me on the skin it's much better than on the paper, yeah. this perfume. Yeah, totally makes sense. It's lovely on you. Thank you yeah. so much. So that's the new one that I'm very... And when do you think this will launch? At Exxon's? Yeah, at Essence. Okay. It's gonna be the full bottle there, but we, we, may, we may have it finished before. Okay. So we have a giveaway also with this video, which we didn't mention at the beginning of the video. Uh, Pizarra is doing a giveaway for a travel size of Flor de Lalita and a travel size of Erawan to subscribers of this channel from the world, right? Worldwide? Yes. Worldwide, shipping from Paris. <laughs> so if you want to participate in this, uh, giveaway let us know which of the fragrances that we discussed today sounds the best to you what you liked about this video also what you liked about the new scent the iris scent <laughs> and if you have a name for it and lastly put your country down and also also let us know which one you want to want to pick up if you are the winner yes. Erawan or Fleur de Lalita yay thank you so much yes thank you for doing the video with me thank you Sebastian you're it's welcome a pleasure. it was fun yeah. It was great to learn how everything got started. Yes. <laughs> what do you see yourself in the future? I am seeing myself doing more formulation. Yeah. I want to have more more formulation time to explore in more creativity and maybe have a little bit more comfortable life with my dog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, in the future, I want to have like a boutique in Thailand. Oh, wow. So you have a boutique now in Paris? Yes. And you're doing perfume classes? Yes. And I'm going to come by and do one myself. Please, come. Okay. Be my guest. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for watching this video with Pisara of Parfums Lucita. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Otherwise, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, it's Sebastian with Swami Great Fragrance Reviews. This video is not about fat Russian women. <laughs>
ันกำลังจีบมันจะเบาหมดตินนะเชนูมัน